Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we once again have a 2 versus 2 from the HP Trophy number 2 tournament between Lucifron and uh, Zanmato on the one side, on the red side, and Mil TV Staff and M. Adele on the other side. So it is. Um, uh, hang on, Terran uh, Zerg versus Terran Protoss once again. So uh, if you want to see game one that uh, was uploaded yesterday, assuming that I do all of these one day apart, but I um, I intend to. So I uh, I hope that actually works. Um, yeah, we saw game one. That was a pretty hefty battle. It. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say anything uh, anything more than that. It was the same teams, uh, the same uh, strategies, kind of with the uh, the races. Of course, most of these guys can play uh, two races, so they can actually switch up the composition. So they would be able to go for, for example, Protoss, Zerg, imply uh, in, in instead of uh, uh, instead of their uh, uh, Terran Zerg. Um, anyway, yeah, we just have the gateway coming up, uh, a little bit of a wall off here, I'm not sure if, um, yeah, if they're going to wall it off completely, because normally that's the Terran player's job, and the Terran player is just building everything into his base. Um, this guy is going to wall off most of it, I guess, um, yeah, I don't know how he's going to wall it off, but we'll see. I think that the uh, add-on on this one will leave a little bit of a gap, so... There you go. Had to move it. Um, it's okay. It's okay. So I'm um, going to build a factory or uh, another barracks next to it, and then it should be okay. And it is going to be a tech lab coming up. Wow, there are all kinds of hairs flying through the air here, so... My cat just came in to uh, be petted, but yeah, as soon as she sees that I'm starting a commentary... She just runs out and uh, doesn't want to be there anymore. Hey! Um, yeah, this one never wants to be on camera. Only Rose wants to be on camera. Anyhow, we have just uh, some, some harvesters coming up and all kinds of upgrades coming up. I don't know. Okay, here she comes. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. I don't know if you can actually see her already. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> <coughs> uh, she's kind of uh, mentally disabled uh, or mentally challenged cats. And she, yes, she really is. And she's really sweet. So. She had a, li a little bit of an oxygen, oxygen deficit uh, when she was born. So uh, she doesn't really understand how the world works, but that's what makes her funny. She kind of thinks she's a dog every now and then. Or, well, she behaves like a dog or like whatever. Anyway, uh, going back to the game, we see uh, an attack coming in from, uh, well, we have been seeing it, an attack coming in from the red players, and um, they've been doing a little bit of damage, but not really worth it, I guess. And, oh, by the way, this is Tara, just so you know. Because I know some people like to, uh, to remember the names of my cats, so this is Tara. I don't know why. I didn't name her, but uh, that's what she's called, and she will be, uh, well, bugging me for a little bit because she didn't have, f uh, she doesn't have food, and uh, she wants to have food. Anyway, it's uh, it's the red team that's uh, that's pressuring most of the game, and um, they are going to make use of that by just grabbing this high yield expansion. Which means they're going to have more minerals coming in as a team, and because you can switch or uh, can exchange minerals and gas between teammates, 
That is excellent, because even if the Terran player doesn't need it, the Terran player obviously was going to take this, because... Well, you want to build your command center or your, well, your base as soon as possible, even before you take out those uh, destructible rocks. And, um, yeah, the Zerg player can't really do that, because then your base is in the wrong position. We have a Banshee coming in over here. Does it have cloak, though? No, it does not. Sorry. Did I put on uh, put up another tab there? Um, yeah, the cloak is up now. So uh, we're going to have to see... Oh, it doesn't matter. There's a spore crawler out. Excellent. These guys are so good. They actually anticipated that. And... There is nothing out for our Terran player here. So he might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, but not for long. The missile turret... Uh, okay, there's a fight happening on the left as well. Well, that's right for you, but for me it's left. Because, um, well, there was one cat sleeping there and uh, Tara went... Well, Rose was sleeping there. And Tara went into uh, to try to sleep there as well. But as I said, she doesn't really understand how the world works. And um, yeah, of course that becomes a fight then. Because uh, Rose didn't want to give up her nice sleeping position. Uh, or sleeping spot, I should say. And yeah, Tara's all the way uh, down in the hierarchy that is uh, our house here. Um, She's like the lowest uh, of the of the cats, and uh, she basically gets what I, what nobody else wants. But she doesn't understand that. The rest all understand how that works, but she doesn't. So she every now and then she wants to just fight for what she thinks is hers. And it's it's really funny to see. But anyway, the blue players coming in now, and they are actually getting quite a lot of damage done. So. Um, I don't know why he's still cloaking his banshee. I guess that's just for the for the fun of it, because most of the base does have uh, camo detection or stealth detection, I should call it. This is not blue star defense. Anyway, a lot of SCVs going down here to those Hellions, and even though the Hellions aren't upgraded to uh, to blue flame, it doesn't even matter. Because they're still going to do a lot of damage. And they are going to die now. But that's alright. They did their job. And unfortunately I cannot pull up the uh, harvesters lost. But after this fight. So after. Oh there's, there's no end to this fight. I will look at it right now. So you can see that um, the blue players got harassed a little bit. Uh, only 13 Harvesters for the Terran player, 29 here, but only 3 Harvesters here. And that was good enough for the the red players to, s to GG out of this game, because they couldn't hold their base. They didn't have anything anymore. This is the only thing they still had. And um, yeah, that's just not good enough. Their high yield expansion did not yield any uh, results here. It um, it just failed. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, sorry for not commenting on the game too much. But yeah, I was kind of distracted by the fight. And the cat. Yeah, well, whatever. You can see what's going on. I uh, I got most of the action at least. Um, I just don't know what this is. And uh, why this guy only has so few harvesters. One of the two. Hang on. That's the... Uh, Protoss. Oh, the, sorry. The Terran player. He only has very limited amount of harvests. I guess he just wanted to go for whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG!